Uh, I'm going to talk today about our divine unfoldment. I believe that the spiritual journey that we are all on, and I think everybody is on a spiritual journey, is actually a process of divine unfoldment. It comes from within us, because we teach that the divinity already exists and it exists within us, and that divinity that's within us is actually seeking a way out into the world. So one of the ways I often say this is that spirit within us is seeking a fuller and greater expression of itself. You know, we often sing the song, it's in every one of us, it's already there. So contrary to the you'll be okay when something out here in the world comes into your life, something out here is going to make it better, that's the predominant thinking of the world around us. In the science of mind, we teach that you lack nothing right now, even though you may think, oh, I got to get this, I need that, blah, blah, blah. No, the truth is, you as a spiritual being right now, you are whole, you are perfect, you are complete, you lack no good thing. You know, and, and, um, the fullness, the allness of God is already within each and every one of us. Right? So what do I mean by that? I mean that all the love, all of the peace, all of the creativity, all of the abundance, all of the joy, it already exists within each and every one of us. And we say, well, how can that be? All right, listen to this. God is everywhere equally present. We teach that. So if God, and that means God's qualities, are everywhere equally present, there's no spot where God is not. Right? I mean, you cannot, you cannot possibly be the one exception in the entire universe, in the entire cosmos, you can't be the one place where God is not. Right? God's everywhere except where I am. I don't think so. It's, God is everywhere, and that includes right where we are.